The origin of amniotes was a critical step in vertebrate evolution. It is apparent that fundamental macroevolutionary changes in the natural histories and physiological features of tetrapods occurred at or near this transition, which set the stage for the age of reptiles and ultimately for the radiation of mammals and birds. Despite its tremendous evolutionary importance, the origin of amniotes has been addressed directly by relatively few studies. Other biologically important transitions, for example the transition from water to air breathing, or the evolution from ectothermy to endothermy, have been examined independently by many disciplines. However, the origin of amniotes has been, for the most part, studied by paleontologists fast limited to osteological data. Our goal has been to bring together paleontologists and neontologists specialising on both extent and extinct organisms. To examine this evolutionary transition that is rich in, ri that is rich in importance but historically poor in testable hypothesis. Amniotes were the first vertebrates to complete the transition to land. And this release from life history stages requiring bodies of water provided a profound freedom for the new evolutionary radiations. Their descendants accomplished innovations in terrestrial herbivory, behavioural thermoregulatory strategies, respiration in air, water balance and conservation, and new means of locomotion, including flight. In this volume, we provide a holistic approach to understanding primitive tetrapods that should increase our understanding of this macroevolutionary change. Our aim is to provide a broad overview of the evolution of the vertebrate body, with both paleontologists and neontologists addressing the origin of amniotes and making inferences from a variety of different perspectives. Vertebrate paleontologists have been slow to adopt experimental approaches, and reproducible studies addressing function by vertebrate paleontologists are still disappointingly few. Conversely, functional morphologists and physiologists rarely address the influences that their work on extant organisms might have on understanding the extinct animals that made the transition from anamniote to amniote. We hope that this volume will prove to be heuristic, generating dialogue and forging new connections to simulate novel ways of thinking about the evolution of tetrapods.